Okay, just got done my four mile pace run on Saturday, the second to last day of my first week of taper for the Marine Corps Marathon. And it went really well. I averaged, I believe 812 per mile for the four miles. Nice, moderate pace, felt pretty good. Here you have the new Endorphin Pro 3s size 12 so i sized up a half size because of my pinky toe and my right foot issue i had during my 20 mile run last sunday so um really good a little bit of extra room in there so i had no issues whatsoever i think these will work the fit was good my foot wasn't swimming around at all so very very good run today i have 12 miles just normal pace tomorrow and then we get into week two of the three week taper. So we're getting here. Two weeks and a wake up before the Marine Corps Marathon on October 30th. So I'm getting really excited. And you know, today, running about 8.12, when my Marine Corps Marathon pace, I'm probably gonna start out running about 8.25. This tells me that, you know, if I start out a little conservatively, but still within my Boston qualifier uh, pace that I should have enough energy in the second half of the race and and most importantly that last 6.2 miles as long as my nutrition and hydration goes well to be able to ramp it up and hey maybe even get a negative split so we'll see key thing there is I don't want to hit the wall and don't want to drop off by starting off way too fast so really really good day today gorgeous as you can see hey everybody good morning it is Sunday, it is the 16th of October. It's the last day of my first week of taper for the Marine Corps Marathon on October 30th. So today um, I'm testing a few things out, but one of the things I don't wanna do during the Marine Corps Marathon is have to do a potty break, you know, for a number two somewhere during that marathon because that will really impact my ability to hit that bq time so i took a couple of emodiums this morning about an hour before my run it's going to be 12 miles today i just want to see how how my you know stomach feels with that we'll see how i handle it and um you know we'll see how that goes um the other thing i'm trying today is i've got a new belt it's the naked belt and my phone in it back here um, able to put other stuff in there and i've tested it out and i've been able to fit like six gels in there easy so that's what i'm going to do i'm not carrying water with me but um, i don't want to wear a vest i will be carrying my gels and my phone in my naked belt just want to show you what a glorious glorious fall day here take a look at this perfect perfect running weather life is good today all right so i'm at the six mile turnaround right around 53 55 just uh sub nines just cruising feeling actually pretty good i didn't feel that great when i got up this morning but feeling pretty good right now just cruising along Enjoying the beautiful weather. Okay, we're about 8.9 miles in. Just wanted to show you a little bit more of just this beautiful trail. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Really good run. Average probably 850 to 855 per mile for the 12 miles today. It's my last double digit run before the Marine Corps Marathon two weeks from today one thing just kind of a little gear plug i did uh as i mentioned before the run where the naked belt as you can see there worked really well had my phone in my rear pocket didn't notice it the entire time was able to put my cool weather gloves in there as it got warmer um, so that's really good had my license and my keys and i did not notice them at all which is ideal for you know carrying something in a race again i did not want to wear a vest as i am trying to keep as light as possible but i want to bring 
you know, my phone, a couple of valuables, and six Crank Sports e gels for that run. Hey, everybody. It is Saturday, October 22nd. So that means we're only eight days away from the Marine Corps Marathon and my Boston qualifier attempt. So today it's beautiful out here. It's about 48 or 49 degrees at about 10 a.m. on this Saturday. Today, I'm just doing a nice, easy four mile taper run. Uh, tomorrow I've got eight, so no more double digit runs until next Sunday. Uh, today I'm, I'm testing out uh, some new gear and uh, specifically, I purchased a pair of Waleco, I guess it's Waleco, Waleco short tights that have pockets on them. They have pockets, so I don't know if you can see it right here. I have a pocket right here. I have a Samsung S22 Ultra. It is really, really big and it fits right there in that pocket, which is really good. There's also another pocket right here for my keys. And there's also some mesh pockets on the back that I could stow, you know, one or two gels. The naked belt that I'm gonna wear, that has plenty of pouches. I can put all six of these big fat Crank Sports E-Gel, E-Gels in them. So I'll be able to carry everything I need without having to wear a vest and basically feeling free. And I, and I like the fact that these shorts, if they work out for me, because this is the first run in them, um, have this side pocket for the phone because I prefer to have the phone there than have it on my back in the belt which is fine but I prefer to have it there um, so we'll see how they work today also I know whose people go commando under short tights I tend to prefer to wear something under so I have runderwear boxers under these short tights that that serves a couple of purposes right it keeps keeps everything where it needs to be and and under control and what it also does is i do tend to get say with the briefs or without a little bit of chafing the under area so um, i like to keep everything nice and in place and also prevent chafing that you know especially if it's going to rain and even if not you know, as you sweat and as you get later on in the race, and especially those long runs, um, don't want to get any chafing down there. So uh, let's see how this run goes. Man, is this beautiful out here today. Look at this. Just gorgeous out here. Man, I can feel the taper working. I'm cruising about. 8.50, 8.55, and my heart rate is down in the 120s. So, you know, my body is getting to that point where I'm ready to rock and roll. So it's proving that the taper process works. Really, really good, easy four miler. And now, what's really cool, and what's telling me that the taper is doing its job, is that I averaged 854 per mile during that four miles um, and I was in zone one in just a few seconds you know maybe maybe a minute or two in zone two so easy pace with the heart rate just felt smooth legs no niggles at all feet felt great um, just a really really good easy run at I'm gonna tell you probably around you know 20 to 30 seconds faster than what my normal easy run pace is so that's telling me my legs are fresh they've recovered well from the heavy training and uh, that, that the taper is working just as it is designed so we're getting there uh, another just regular paced eight miler tomorrow and then I have I think a three on Monday a four by 400 track session very short on Tuesday and then I believe two on Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday rest days no running um, I'm gonna be traveling on Friday morning so it's okay so I might want to do a little bit of stretching and maybe a little walking just to keep the legs moving and then a two to three mile shakeout run with a 
pile of folks from the Marine Corps Marathon and 10K Facebook group uh, at the Lincoln Memorial on Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. And then it sequester myself in the Airbnb for the rest of Saturday afternoon and uh, just rest up, get plenty of sleep, stay hydrated, get a little uh, sustenance in me, but nothing too major, just to top off glycogen stores and, uh, and then get to bed real, real early because I plan on getting up about 3 a.m. on Sunday. And uh, what that's gonna do, it's gonna allow me to have a light breakfast, maybe a bagel with some peanut butter and a banana, um, get a little hydration in there, but well before race time, so I'm not having to, to you know, go pee during the race. It also gives me an opportunity to clear myself out, if you know what I mean, well before race time, and then I can just hit the Porta Johns early when I get to uh, the Runner's Village and up to the starting corrals. Okay, everybody, just a quick summary of the, my Marine Corps Marathon training program through week 17. So I had a really good first two weeks of taper, only missed one day, had some work commitments that kind of took me out of my rhythm. So I just missed one workout, no big deal, a five mile easy run, but I've hit every other workout through this taper. So I'm feeling really, really good. I'm feeling healthy. I'm in week 18 right now. I'm sequestered at home on vacation, so I'm keeping myself healthy, and I'm really getting ready for this coming Sunday's Marine Corps Marathon. So just wanted to show you, done a really good job. As you can see, that, that one red mark there um, on that first taper week, if you look back, look at that. Look at how consistent I have been in my training since basically week seven. I only had a little bit of a blip in week nine. And in fact, one of those red days, the four mile easy run on that Wednesday, I replaced it on Saturday with a four mile run. So really, it's only one workout I missed that week, the six by 800, Yatso 800 workout. And then all the way to week 16, I did not miss a workout. And man, I am so happy with this training block. I'm feeling strong. I'm hitting all my paces. And I'm really feeling good about my prospects this coming Sunday. So there you have it. If you like this video, again, like always, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, that's okay as well. Please leave comments. And please subscribe to the Old Man Van Running Channel. And if you really liked it, tell your friends about it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when more videos are posted. So I am going to post another video in a day or two showing my preparations, all the gear that I'm going to wear fully laid out as I pack and head down to Arlington, Virginia and the D.C. area for the Marine Corps Marathon. So remember, lace up those shoes and let's get out on the roads.